Hi, warm welcome to you. So we started with the angles. We are actually going through trigonometry. We have covered compound angles and multiple and submultiple angles. So in this video, we'll just go through what are the important angles and the values which we should be aware of, which are in needed for the competitive exams or for solving the problems. Okay, right. So we know. Uh, we know about 0, 90, 180, all this we know. We also know 30, 60, that also is fine. We also know 45 degrees. Now, with the latest knowledge, whatever we have acquired through compound angles, we know 15, because 15 is nothing but 45 minus 30. And also with multiple angles and submultiple angles, we know what is the value of 22 and half. How? Because 45 by 2 is 22 and half. So we know how to do that also. That's what we have. Right. Now you want to find out the value of 18 degrees. How to do that? Okay. Right. That's what we will do now. We will find out the value of sine 18, cos 18, sine 36, cos 36. That's what we will do in this video. Maybe I will do sin 18, you can take it forward and you can do the remaining ones. Okay. Now, how to do this? What we want to find out? We want to find out what is the value of sin 18 degrees. To find out the value of sin 18 degrees, what I will do is, how I can convert this into a known angle? I know that 5 into 18 is nothing but equal to 90 degrees. So, if a equal to 18, 5a is equal to 90 degrees. So, I can I say 2a plus 3a is equal to 90 degrees? Perfect, right? Because we know a equal to 18, 5a equal to 90. What we did? We have to find out the value of A, 18, for trigonometric ratios. But we want to convert that into a known value. 90 degrees is a known value. So 5A equal to 19 if A equal to 80. Now I will say 2A equal to 90 minus 3A. Right. Now if I apply sine sin 2a is equal to sin of 90 minus 3a. This is nothing but equal to 2 sin a. This how we know? We know from the multiple angles. And this also we know sin 90 minus theta is cos theta. That is nothing but equal to cos 3a. What is the value of cos 3a? We have learned that it is nothing but equal to 4 cos cube a minus 3 cos a. So, that is nothing but equal to 2 sin a into cos a is equal to, I can take cos a common here and it becomes 4 cos square a minus 3. Now, what I am trying to do? I hope you got it. I am trying to form a equation in quadratic equation in sines so that I can find out the sin a by using the quadratic equation. Okay, right. Now to get quadratic equation in sin, I should not have any cos. So I will convert this into 4 into sines, 4 into 1 minus sin square a minus 3. Now this simplifies to 4 sin square a comes here plus 2 sin a 4 sin square a plus 2 sin a minus 1 is equal to 0. Now this is of the form 4x square plus 2x minus 1 equal to 0 where x equal to sin a. Now this is nothing but ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0. Now you know the value of x is nothing but equal to minus b 
plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac by 2a. Now let us go ahead and substitute and find out the value of sin a. So sin a is equal to minus b minus 2 plus or minus b square that is 4 minus 4 into a a is equal to 4 into c equal to minus 1 by 2 into a equal to 4. This is nothing but equal to minus 2 plus or minus minus into minus is plus 4 4s are 16 16 plus 4 is 20. So 20 divided by 8. This is nothing but equal to minus 2 plus or minus 2 root 5. I can write root 20 as 2 root 5. So this becomes plus or minus root 5 minus 1 by 4. Now there are two values. One is plus root 5 minus 1 by 4 and another one is minus root 5 minus 1 by 4. We are looking about sine and the angle is 18 degrees which is acute sine is positive in first quadrant actually all angles are positive in first quadrant so this is the value of sin 18 sin 18 is equal to root 5 minus 1 by 4 now what i want you to do we have found sin 18 now can you find out what is cos 18 what is sin 36 what is cos 36 with the help of the knowledge whatever you know how to find out cos 18 cos 18 is nothing but equal to square root of 1 minus sin square 18 how to find out cos 36 cos 36 is nothing but equal to 2a if you take it as cos 2a equal to 1 minus 2 sin square 18 that is how you can find out. Now sin 36 is nothing but equal to square root of 1 minus cos square 36. Can you do that and see whether you are getting these values? What will be your values? Cos 36 will be root 5 plus 1 by 4 and sin 36 will be root of 10 minus 2 root 5 by 4 and cos 18 will be root of 10 plus 2 root 5 by 4. You can check whether you are getting these values or not. But this is how we can find out the values of 18 degrees which is very important. So the angles we should we are aware of now is 0, 15, 22 and of 30, 45, 60. Okay, and also we know 67 and of because this is sin 3a. Once you know sin a, you can find out sin 3a too. Now we have found what is the value of 18 degrees. Okay. In the next video, we'll do some more problems using the multiple and submultiple angles. Thanks for visiting. Bye for now.